back to the bench. This is going to be another video in the Flakes, Cakes, and Coins series. So what are we going to be smoking today, Noah? We're going to be smoking Robert McConnell's Latakia Flake. This is a 50 gram tin, 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 because it does come from Europe, made in the EU. And that makes it um, 1.76 ounces. Mm. What are you going to do? Don't have my mic on today because my mic's, I don't know, been sounding a little funny lately. So we'll just go oh natural with the camera here. So you might hear my dogs wrestling and hopefully no one goes to the bathroom because you'll just hear the water running. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, what am I smoking out of? I am smoking out of my Bent Rossi. This is a pipe I've had for a few years now. I got this off of Etsy. I bought four pipes the one time. Actually, there's a video for that. Uh, maybe I'll throw a card if I can find it. But uh, it's a great little smoker. Smaller bowl, which I like sometimes when you don't want to sit around for two and a half, three hours. Some of my bigger pipes, that's how I can stretch it. But I really do enjoy this pipe. Mm. It's very nice. Very nice. Okay, so on with the blend. Right down here, I have tobaccoreviews.com up. Robert McConnell Latakia Flake. Full-bodied, flavorful Cyprin Latakia and Kentucky tobaccos were combined with Black Cavendish and then pressed into flake. And they got their mixture just so. Um, it gets 3.0 stars on tobaccoreviews.com, which ah, I would have given it higher, but uh, that's just what they did. And it has a total of 39 reviews. And made by Kohlhaas Kopp and Company. Um, it is an English family tobacco. And contents Black Cavendish, Kentucky, and Latakia. The cut is a flake. Like I said, a 50 grand tin. And it is made in Germany. Hmm. Availability. Pretty much available everywhere with your big box, you know, smoking pipes and pipes and cigars and cup of joes and tobacco.com and all, all your big online realtor. Uh, I always meant they're, they're not realtors, they're not s selling us house. Um, but oh, I have never seen this in my local brick and mortars, and I only really have one or two around me in the Pittsburgh area that I go to, and I have never technically seen this blend there in a tin. But if you are at your brick and mortar and they have some, I say get it. Ooh, got my, there we go. Mm -mm. All right. That was the tobacco reviews. No, here's Noah's uh, take. Mm -mm -mm. Robert McConnell. A lot of Kia Flake. Uh, the tin note I was getting, I was getting like a sweet, spicy, little sour smell. A um, little bit of a barbecue scent going on in there. A good tobacco smell coming through. Like, if you if you smell a blend that you know is really heavily cased and heavily topped, that's everything that you're getting. Um, this blend, I was getting a really, really nice uh, tobacco uh, smell to it. I smoked it mostly out of uh, my Ehrlich large billiard and my papa bear's egg but today i change it up and got the old rossi pen so these were my entries i started smoking this uh, beginning of january i said it is smooth and creamy very impressed from the start wow this is what i imagined blends were like 50 years ago it's delicious I was having it with a bourbon that night, which is kind of what, because I really don't drink a lot of whiskey anymore. And I never really drank bourbons, but I have gotten into them a little more, but I'm more of a wine drinker. Uh, I said, it is a great combination, and it really was. I said, there is no bite at all. I said, the flavor just gets deeper and deeper as the bowl goes down. It's so smooth. Uh, out of the Papa Bear pipe, out of my egg, just a delicious blend. No bite, some spice, slightly sweet. The dark fired, a blend I am coming around to, 
just fits perfectly. And by that, I meant the Kentucky tobacco is insane. Because Sam has some dark fired Kentuckys in there. I do believe when it says Kentucky tobaccos, that's what it means. Uh, smoking out of the egg again. I uh, said so rubbed it out pretty hard this time. I got it a little, little finer. And I started off as I did with the other one. This blend is delicious. It is sweet. It is sour. It is smoky. All at the same time. It is lovely with a cup of coffee. This blend agrees with me on another level. The tobaccos complement each other. They are mixed properly. It just gets smoother and smoother as the bowl goes down. Mm -mm -mm. And, oh, I like this entry. And this was out of my Ehrlich large billiard. I said, I could not wait to have this bowl. Such a pleasure to smoke. No bite, no burn. Retro hail is nearly perfect. I said, this blend is about nearly perfect for me. It is deep, it's rich, it's creamy. Just a great balance of spice and smokiness. The black Cavendish is in there in the best way. I said, it is just lovely. Now, um, I don't know if you guys could pick up on it or not, but I really like this blend. Um, oh, having a glass of red wine today. We had some homemade lasagna. My wife made some homemade bread again. And, you know, got to have a glass of red wine with that. It was awesome. Back to the uh, blend. This blend really hit it out of the park for me. This is one of the first blends I've smoked. Oh, I'm not going to say in my whole pipe journey, but this is one of the few blends that I got it. I popped a tin and only reason I got it because I was, I did a, a search on smokingpipes.com and just said flake tobaccos. And this was one of the top two or three that came up. And I thought, well, I like Latakia. I love Latakia. It says flake on it. Let's get it. From popping the tin, smelling it, you know, I jarred it up. I'm like, ooh, wow, I let it dry a little bit, which you really don't need to with this blend. You can just go straight out of the tin if you want. You can let it dry for five or ten minutes. But from the first bowl, from the first match, from the room notes that I was getting from everything, this blend blew me away. And I know everybody says you like everything you smoke. I really don't like everything I smoke. There are, oh, I heard something over there. There are blends that I, I really don't care for and, like I said, I don't talk about them. Um, I, I kind of know what I more or less what I like to smoke now. So I don't really buy out of my comfort zone. If somebody gives me a sample, I will definitely try it. Which um, the Briar Fellowship, uh, they sent me three samples. And I really can't wait to get into them here in a little bit. Um, probably, I'm going to jump into them. That's going to be going back to the Tuck It In series. Or, oh no, that, that goes into the Briar Fellowship. Goes into the... Uh, Boutique Custom Blend Series. I like playlists. <laughs> I like series. But this blend, to me, is near perfect. It burns well. The flavor is outstanding. So far, it goes with a glass of red wine, white wine, cup of coffee, glass of whiskey, glass of bourbon. This is just an all-around pleasure to smoke. And I said in my notes, this is how I imagine um, pipe tobaccos were 50 years ago. And by that, I mean there's nothing... There's, there's basically three components in it. It's blended well. It's pressed, cut into flakes. Um, there's nothing fancy over the top. There's not, you know, too much going on there. But it just really works. And it really works for me. And I hope it really works for you. And I hope you guys check this blend out. And uh, I don't know much more I could say other than I think this is a really, really kick-ass blend. And I have it for when I'm doing my next order as I'm getting different things from other companies, I'm going to try to always buy it. two tins of this every time I order something from an online re uh, retailer. That's the word I'm looking for. Online retailer. I always want to buy two tins because I'm going to start throwing a bunch of this in the cellar. This is one that if something happens in a few years, I would really like to have, you know, 50, 60 tins of this. So I know that's enough to hold me over for my smoking career. Um, I really enjoy it, like I enjoyed it. And like I said, I hope some of you guys out there follow along a little bit. And if you get some, um, shoot me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of it. And if you're here, which I should have said this 10 minutes ago, like, subscribe, share the video around, share the channel around. I do appreciate it. I am up to 1,100 followers, and I got to thank each and every one of you guys. And I hope you really enjoy the videos. hope you enjoy the gardening videos and all that. 
And from the bench, I'm gonna give this guy five matchsticks, which is coming out of the gate, the highest I give, because this so far is one of my favorite blends I have ever smoked. Um, I think it's just, it's up there, and it's really, really good. Wait, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this bowl. I'm gonna listen to some music today, I think. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my glass of wine, and maybe go out and look in the driveway and look at the six or seven inches of snow we got last night out there. Well, hey, I'm Noah from the bench. Thanks for stopping by.